Who gives Angel a big wet? Oh, dude. Genesis chapter 2, starting in verse 7. And the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living being. Verse 18 says, And the Lord God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make for him a helper comparable to him. Verse 21, And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall on Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs. Then the, then the rib which the Lord God had taken from man, he made into woman, and he brought her to the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife and they shall become one flesh. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 22. Wives submit to your own husbands as to the Lord for the husband is head of the wife as also Christ is head of the church and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wife just as Christ has also loved the church and gave himself for her, that he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word, that he might present her to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. So husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one has ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as the Lord does the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, of his bones, for this reason a man shall leave his father and his mother and shall be joined to his wife and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let each one of you in particular so love his own wife as himself and let the wife see that she respects her husband. The two shall not be joined together. Let them speak now or forever hold their peace. Join your right hands. No, oh. you're right. You're the right. <laughs> well, you, Kyle, have Angel to be your wife. We love her, cherish her, comfort her, forsaking all others, remain true to her as long as you both shall live. And will you, Angel, have Kyle to be your husband? Will you love him, cherish him, comfort him, forsaking all others, remain true to him as long as you both shall live? Do we have rings? Yes. <laughs> well, now would be the time to get them. If y'all would uh, repeat after me in unison, that means together. Oh, okay. <laughs> With this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. And all my worldly goods, I, am, I be in doubt. With all my worldly goods, I be in doubt. <laughs> Do I need to take it in smaller chunks? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. In sickness and in health. <laughs> in poverty or in wealth. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. <laughs> Kyle, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Turn around and face your guests. Put your rings on. I'm <laughs> 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 sorry, I'm <laughs> 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 
I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. I can't get it on. You've gotten a little fluffy. Oh my God. Just get flour there. Yeah. Yeah. Now you may turn around and face it.